Hi, today's demo is of the SIM 7000A 4G GSM slash GPS module. On the back side we have pins if you want to do an external FTDI connector, a USB connector. We have the antennas for GPS and LTE and finally our SIM card. We take the middle size SIM card. If you have a three-in-one, you simply take out the middle one. You see how we unlock the holder, press it, click, done. To make this module function, we're going to need to add some things. We need a micro FL IPEX to SMA adapter. We need two of them. One is going to be for the GPS module, one is going to be for the 4G module. I have these laying around from testing the other ones. There are shorter antennas you can get, but it decreases your signal strength. Here's our module with both antennas attached and the USB cable attached. They're coiled up right now. I would recommend, depending on your situation, that you uncoil your antennas make them as straight as possible to increase the signal strength. We'll move from here, connect it to our laptop so I can show you some basic AT commands to make sure that this unit is functioning properly. I have plugged in the module using a standard USB micro cable and it's going to take a while for it to be recognized and we're going to scroll down to the device manager USB port settings. Now in the link for this product you'll find drivers. It's important you load the drivers. You may have to scan for hardware changes multiple times but eventually you're going to get the module listed. At this point I can open a TerraTerm session and we're going to tell net to that COM port. But wait, the COM port's not available because the module's still resolving the other COM ports. What this module has is a GSM for your cell phone, it has a GPS, but it also has some other test ports and an audio port, and all those we're going to come up as a COM port. Now that we see everything's been enumerated, all four COM ports, we can go back to our TerraTerm session, open up COM port 22, and start typing commands. The most basic command we have is the AT command. The next thing we want to do is test the GPS module. To do that, we're simply going to run another TerraTerm session and connect to COM24. In my case, your COM board will vary. We're getting no output. The reason we're getting no output is by default, this module turns off access to the GPS module. So we're going to enter the AT commands you see right there. By entering equals 1, that's going to open up the GPS port and we're starting to get data. Now, it takes a while for the GPS to actually contact satellites and those fields will be populated in anywhere from 30 seconds to 3 or 4 minutes depending on the signal strength of your cable slash antenna and your proximity and the building type that you're in. If I go back to the other serial port and type in equals zero instead of equals one, that will turn the GPS port off and you'll see the data stops appearing in the GPS terminal. We're going to turn the GPS port back on and I want all of these fields to populate to set up the next demo for this module. So again, equals 1 turns on access to the GPS port, equals 0 turns off access. 
let this run for a while think it might take maybe a minute minute and a half and then you'll start seeing all those fields populating at this point if you were running an Arduino powering this up you could then scrape for the data and use it then to map your location what we're going to do something slightly different in the the next section but we're just going to let it run La 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 Some of it's being populated but not all. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. All right, we'll take this. I've started U Center, which takes input normally from USB GPS dongles. And we're simply going to feed it the input from our SEM 7000A GPS module. As you can see in the window, it's hitting a lot of satellites and giving us a lot of data. I'm going to open the text message window so you can see that the same screen messages we got from the TerraTerm screen we're getting in U-Center's screens. This concludes the first part of our demo of the SIM 7000A module. The next one is going to cover